What you're looking at is the most advanced engine ever built in the world, the Carbon Wrapped, created by Tesla. This thing has been seen in the Model S Plaid, a $101,000 beast that can out-accelerate a Lamborghini on the street. But what if we told you this same motor might be upgraded to deliver up to 40% more overall performance in Elon Musk's upcoming low-cost Model 2? Using no rare earth elements whatsoever, hidden inside the groundbreaking design is a carbon fiber cladding, but this time even stronger with additional materials taken directly from the aerospace industry. When the Model 2 finally hits the road, this motor would once again break all the limits. More durable, more efficient. And most importantly, it's still less expensive. So how does it work in the Model 2? Why less energy is used but more performance? Is it true that this motor only costs less than $1,000 on the Model 2, but lasts three times longer than your current car's engine? In today's video, we'll break down all the potential of this new carbon-wrapped motor. And before we get started, support us by hitting that subscribe button and become the first 12,345 people ready to drive faster, longer, safer for less with Tesla. How is carbon-wrapped motor the smartest and most efficient way for a Model 2 to operate? Did you know that no matter how powerful they are, electric motors in the world can't spin faster than 16,000 RPM before breaking down? That's because traditional electric motors are built with metal parts that heat up, expand, and wear out limiting how fast and how strong they can run. But about four years ago, Tesla broke that limit by wrapping the motor rotor with a thin carbon fiber composite sleeve only 0.5 millimeters thick. First used in the Model S Plaid, it let the rotor handle way more centrifugal force as the carbon layer had 7,000 megapascal tensile strength, five times stronger than steel, and could handle 200 degrees Celsius without warping. That's how Tesla pushed the motor speed past 20,000 RPM, something no other automaker had done before. Now, in 2025, Elon Musk and his team took it even further for the upcoming Model 2. Instead of using standard carbon fiber, they upgraded it to a carbon-graphene hybrid composite, combining carbon fibers with a 0.1 nanometer graphene layer using nano-injection tech. This boosted the tensile strength to 10,000 megapascals, about 40% stronger than before, and pushed the rotor's top speed to 25,000 RPM. But it's not just about raw power, it's about efficiency. The core strength is that this engine uses less energy, consumes less battery, but gives higher performance than the previous high-performance model. This new carbon graphene layer is 30% lighter, cutting motor weight from 45 kilograms in the Model S down to just 38 kilograms in the Model 2. That means the motor needs less energy to spin, about 11 kilowatts to cruise at 110 kilometers per hour, compared to 15 kilowatts before. That's a 10 to 12 percent energy loss reduction right there. Graphene's insane thermal conductivity also makes cooling way better, up to five times faster heat transfer than normal carbon fiber. A Model S motor spinning at 20,000 RPM for 30 minutes could heat up to 180 degrees Celsius, wasting around 10% of the battery. But the Model 2's new hybrid motor stays at just 110 degrees Celsius, completely eliminating the wasted electricity that still exists in the old version. The more heat, the more electricity the battery uses, the faster it runs out. But this motor changes that. It converts energy into motion with minimal loss of heat. This allows the Model 2 to retain up to 99.7% of its battery power to propel the car, compared to 90% in the previous Model S, and less than 80% in current electric vehicles using conventional motors. This technology can produce up to 268 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque enough to accelerate the Model 2 from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 3.5 seconds. With an aluminum battery pack that has a theoretical range of 380 to 400 miles, the new carbon motor can translate into a real-world performance of 370 to 380 miles in use. 
This means longer distances, fewer charging stops, and less battery wear. Does your gas car still only go about 380 to 400 miles, even though the company claims it can reach 500? Or does your EV still struggle uphill even when you've got your foot all the way down on the pedal? If you believe all those bad experiences and limits in car engines have finally been changed by Tesla's latest carbon-wrapped motor on the Model 2, drop a true power below. Or if you don't, tell us your reason in the comments. How Musk makes a rare earth-free engine under $1,000 for the Model 2? While competitors are trying to balance efficiency, production, and cost, Tesla has solved this problem, and now they have made it standard with a carbon-wrapped motor price of less than $1,000, putting it in an upcoming low-cost Model 2, expected to cost just under $15,000. For many years, rare earth elements such as neodymium, potassium, and terbium have been at the core of electric vehicle motor technology. They are used to make permanent magnets, which account for 1 to 2 kilograms per motor, creating strong magnetic fields for high efficiency, but are expensive. About $100 to $300 per kilogram of raw materials. That's why a standard PMSM motor costs around $2,500 to $3,000 today. Bigger matter is, 90% of the supply of these materials comes from just one country, China. One disruption, one policy change, and the price of these materials can skyrocket overnight. And for a company that wants to produce millions of electric cars a year, that's a dangerous gamble. So Elon Musk and Tesla engineers have come up with a permanent magnet motor that doesn't use any rare earths. They've turned to ferrite magnets, which cost $1 to $5 per kilogram and are easy to make from common materials like iron and clay. That rare earth reduction alone has brought the price of the previous carbon-wrapped motor down to around $1,700 to $1,900 on the Model S, 45% less than traditional EV motor. However, the next-generation carbon fiber motor on the Model 2 will see a further price drop as Tesla starts using recycled carbon fiber from old cars instead of virgin. That means they will continue to cut the cost of raw materials by 40% compared to the previous version, saving about 400 to 500 USD per unit through the circular economy. This material shift will bring the price of a carbon fiber engine in the Model 2 down to just 1,100 US dollars. But we don't think this is the final number. Many people often overlook the advantage of mass production at a large scale. If 2 million carbon fiber engines are produced for the same number of Model 2s, the cost can continue to decrease. If other companies want to follow this technology, they will face an expensive production line barrier. Ford, GM, Toyota, or Volkswagen have invested billions of dollars but their factories are not designed to produce electricity. They depend on key component suppliers. Tesla does not. They use a vertical integration philosophy, design, and manufacture all the car parts from scratch to save everything from time, cost, labor. And now the Tesla motor is not only better, it's exclusive, and so that it's cheap. Mass production will take place directly on the new generation lines at Gigafactory Texas and Nevada, where 99% of the rotor assembly process is robotized, from high-pressure carbon winding to AI-controlled stator integration. This process will cut the defect rate to 0.01%, and most importantly, bring the price of the motor down to only 850 to 950 USD. After all, this innovation by Tesla puts other electric car companies in a tougher position than ever before because if consumers are offered an electric car that is cleaner, more sustainable, more powerful, and ultimately cheaper, why would they choose anything else next to the Model 2? How will carbon-coated engines help Model 2 owners save on operating and maintenance costs? Why can we say that the lifespan and overall durability of Tesla's latest carbon-wrapped motor is a revolution compared to the rest of the auto industry? The key lies in how little it wears out over time. A traditional gas engine like the one in a Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic typically lasts about 150,000 to 250,000 miles. All because they has around 400 to 600 moving parts, 
pistons, valves, connecting rods, crankshafts, camshafts, bearings, gears, and countless others. A standard electric motor like those in the Nissan Leaf or Chevy Bolt is better, lasting around 300,000 to 500,000 miles. It has far fewer mechanical parts, roughly 30 to 35. However, these motors still face limits from heat buildup, which wears out bearings, deforms rotors, and causes vibration damage to magnets over time. Tesla's new motor is completely different. It has one main moving part, the rotor, plus just three to five small mechanical components like bearings to keep it spinning smoothly. That's only about one-tenth the number of moving parts in a normal EV motor. And that difference is everything. The newest carbon-wrapped design nearly eliminates internal vibration, friction, residue buildup, and thermal wear, cutting failure risk by 95% compared to gas engines, and by around 40% compared to standard AC electric motors. With the Model 2, Carbon wrap increases the motor's lifespan to 1,200,000 miles, or 25 to 30 years without replacement. This means less parts to replace, fewer parts to maintain. The engine will only need to be inspected every 100,000 to 150,000 miles, or about every four to six years with the average American driving 15,000 miles per year. Regular maintenance only includes checking the inverter coolant and cleaning the bearings, which costs about $50 to $70 each time, avoiding major repairs. On average, over 10 years of use, Model 2 owners will only spend about $1,000 to $1,500 on engine maintenance, much lower than the $3,000 to $5,000 for conventional electric cars and even the $5,000 to $10,000 overhauls for gasoline cars. In the end, we can see why Elon Musk's move to a new motor in the Model 2 is a game-changer in the world of electric vehicles, because now people are not just talking about speed, but also about scale, the environment, and long-term sustainability. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and share if you like this analysis. Stay electric, and see you in the next videos.